the importance of this video will be majestic because it will be the most important video ever. So we are drawing fishes. They're not normal fishes. Well, actually, yeah, they are normal, but not in a normal space. This video has no sense. If you clicked on it, you may be curious, hey, where these fishes are? And uh, we are going to draw them in very weird way. So... Hello, my friend. How are you? I hope that you feel very nice because today it's quite random. We have the focus on the fish and we want to draw fish but the fish is usually in the water that's boring that's boring and so we are drawing fishes in spaces that they do not belong and by the end i can just say hey it's art and art shouldn't make sense all the time right i'm going to ride that wave follow me to my journey yes and so we are at the first speed paint. We are making a fish inside of a library. Why should a fish be in there? That is no good idea, right? Because it will just make the book smell like a dead fish. And that is not the thing that we want to smell when we want to go to the library. We want to smell the old books surrounding the study area. And that smell is one of the best, actually. You know, when you open the book and just like, <laughs> like that, Mm, the best smell in the world and you don't want to smell the fish into that book right can you imagine like going into the library and you're just like yeah i need to study today because i have an exam and i have a lot to do and so i need to study and focus and so you go to the library and i need to search for this exact book this exact book is on a shelf in the corner of the library and you go you're like this this doesn't smell right. Why does it smell like fish? <laughs> no good. But you go anyway, because you need that book. And you go to the corner and you're like greeted by this fish sitting onto the bookshelf, on the book itself that you need. And you're like, Zion, that fish does not belong there. Why is there a fish? on my book that's the feeling that i wanted to replicate in this art <laughs> that's it that's it but wait i have something very important to tell you and that is fish fact did you know that the catfish has taste buds all over its body he can literally swim and taste his surroundings that's amazing can you imagine tasting the floor that you're walking onto fantastic and so here we have it this fish that i drew it's in the library what would you do if you found that fish into your library think about your library that you go all the time when you're going to study or whatever if you found a fish there what would be your reaction strange right and so uh, here is it uh, the final product of this first drawing that we have here the fish in the library you're welcome you know i added on uh, the text uh, because uh, i thought that it would be a cool idea to add i lost my fish text uh, over it you can have it without any scribbles all around it or you can have the gif which one do you prefer i will give you all of them let's go to the next one because we have two drawings for this i wanted to make a duo for this idea and so we are drawing the second fish that is a fish does not belong in space to be exact it does not belong onto the moon because you know maybe there is a planet that can actually take a fish inside of the planet if it's made out of waters who knows we don't know so let's just take the moon i have another thing for you fish fact did you know that the u.s navy in world war ii trained dolphins to detect underwater mines they were literally the dog sniffers that you use for the truffles, but no, for mines instead. So they could avoid going kaboom. 
We can all agree that the fish should not be there. Okay. And so I drew the earth. We are very far away from the nearest water. And so the fish is like, <laughs> how did you get here? You crazy fish. How? <laughs> and the fish would respond, <laughs> bestie, I don't know. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he would just lay there. Yeah. And then I drew the rocks of the moon, then I drew the earth, and then I drew the sun with the stars, and then create a little bit of a atmosphere around the fish. I focused on the creation of the fish, just like a normal fish. I don't have quite a lot to say about that. And that's it. You cannot even imagine how it would be to find a fish in the space because you are not an astronaut well i don't know i don't i don't know who is watching but maybe maybe there is a possibility that you are an astronaut well good for you you wouldn't think to find a fish up there right maybe the next time you can bring it one but it does not belong there so my art makes sense but uh, um i think that is aesthetically pleasing to watch and so Third fish fact. Did you know that the archer fish can literally spit out of the water? So they can reach the insect, falls down into the water, and so they can eat them. Boom! Headshot! That's a pro gamer right there. Mm -hmm. Fish fact number four. The flying fish that literally can fly out of the water because it has wings. Can go outside of the water and just fly for a long time. He can glide for 200 meters. Do you know what 200 meters are? I am amazed of this fish. And so I finished it and this is the result of the final drawing what do you think i added again the text this is the normal image this one is with the text and this one is with the blinking motion so i finished one is on the warmer tones and the other one is on the cooler tones so that is um, a nice thought right look Tell me which one do you prefer? Uh, this time I have a not, not a favorite because I enjoyed the two of them um, in different ways, as you should, but I have no favorite for this video. Okay, so let's do the outro. Thank you so much for giving me your most precious coin, your time coin, and I will see you in the next video, right? Yes, bye bye! Ah, I finished. This is it. Uh, I have no idea how much I talked about fish, but I have this thing lately where I like to talk and draw fishes. I don't know why. It's just a moment of my life where I like fish. <laughs> they are just cute. This is why I like them. Like, how can you not look at fishes and be like, oh my god, that's horrible. That's, that's not, no. Not possible. Fishes are so cute and they look like very cool friends even though they are quite slimy. But that's not their fault. It's the... <laughs> they need to be like that because uh, the environment that they are into it says that you need to be slimy and so that is it. I like fishes. I like to draw fishes. I like to see art of fishes i want to be a fish what no that's not true i enjoy my limbs i wouldn't want to be a dolphin because they are mean but then humans are and so they're the human equivalent of fish, fish. <laughs>